In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add an animated scroll down button with a little bit of copy paste and Elementor Pro. Hello, I'm your host Casino from Casino.com. I'm the Digital Alchemist, and today I'm happy to share with you this easy tutorial to spice up your websites. Okay, first of all, let's take a look at what we're going to build. So as you can see here at the bottom of the page, I have this gorgeous looking animated icon. And now if I click on it, it's taking me to the next section and to the next section and to the next section and so on. Now, of course, it works on the tablet and it works on the mobile too. Now, I know that this icon is more for desktop because, hey, who uses a mouse on a tablet and on a mobile phone? But you get the idea. Most people know what this animated icon means and that's why we're using it on the tablet and on the mobile too. Now, let's give credit where it's due because for this tutorial, I've used some code from Yuri that I've just slightly modified. Okay, next, let's look at what I've been using to create this project. So I'm using the Astra theme, the free version. So you may as well install it if you want to follow along. And then in terms of plugins, I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro. And if you're serious about web design and you don't have Elementor Pro yet, you'll find a handy link in the description below. Now, the only reason why I recommend Elementor Pro is because I absolutely love it and recommend it all the time. And it gives a little kickback if you purchase through my link. And that, my friend, allows me to keep on creating free content content just for you. Okay, next we need to create a page. So for that, you want to go to pages, add new, and then just add a name for your page. Let's call it my page. Click on publish and then click on edit with Elementor. Now I've already built and styled my page in order to keep this tutorial short and sweet, but you get the idea. You can pretty much build anything you want. Just make sure you have several sections so that when you click on the mouse icon, it actually takes you somewhere. Now, in case you're curious about this design and more specifically about the Navicon that animates as you click on it, and maybe you are curious about the background shifting full screen menu that you see on screen right now. Well, if that's the case, lucky you because I've created two tutorials for each of these parts. So one for the animated Navicon and one for the background shifting full screen tutorial. Now, of course, you find the link to these tutorials in the description below. Okay, but back to this tutorial. So the next thing we want to do is click on the widgets icon and then you want to type HTML and we want to pick this one here. I'm just going to drag it somewhere at the bottom of the hero section. And then you want to go and copy the HTML code that you'll find in the companion blog post. So I have the code here. Let me select everything and I go back and I'm just going to paste it here. Now here in the code, let me show you, as you can see, there is a change me label. You want to change this by the ID of the section you want to link to. So in my case, it's Tengor. Why? Because let me show you. So if I go to the next section here, let me select it. Then if I go to advanced, you can see that the CSS ID is Tengor. So this is what I want to link to. And this is why I changed the change me label in the code. Okay, let's go back up and let me select my HTML widget once again. And if you don't know how to select it, because right now it's invisible. So I'm just going to open the navigator. So navigator is the icon here at the bottom left corner of the window, or you can just toggle it with command I on a Mac and I guess control and I on a PC. So I just want to make sure I select my HTML widget and here is my code once again. So make sure you replace the change me by the name of the ID for your next section. And then you can just repeat the process over and over as we'll see in a moment. Okay, let's click on update. Okay, but now if I check the front end, nothing is happening. And that's for a reason is because we need to add the CSS code. So for that, you want to go back to Elementor. Then you want to click on the gear icon at the bottom left corner of the window. Then you want to go to the advanced tab. And then where it says custom CSS, you want to copy the code from the companion blog post and paste it here. So let me go here. I'm just going to copy everything and then I'm just going to paste it. And as you can see right now, it's working perfectly, but it's overlapping the other elements. So once again, I want to make sure I select my HTML widget here in the navigator. Then I'm going to go to advanced. Then I'm going to unlink the margin values and then you need to play with the value. So in my case, I'm going to give it a 100 pixels at the top and 30 pixels at the bottom. And that should do it. So let me click on update. Now let's go back. Let me refresh. 
and it's looking gorgeous. Now, let me click on it. And as you can see, it's working fine. Now, as you can see here, I have another mouse icon. And if I click, it's taking me to the next section and to the next section and so on. And that's because I had already prepared the ID names and the HTML widgets for each and every section. So as you can see here, that section is called Tangor, but the HTML widget here takes me to the next one. And let me just remove this. If I select my HTML widget here in the Tangor section, and if I look at the code, it's asking me to go to Raspberry. And as you may imagine, if I select the next section, go to Advanced, the CSS ID is Raspberry, and so on. So the same goes for each and every section on this page. So once again, this is what we've built. As I click on the mouse icon, it's taking me to the next section. And as you may imagine, it works just fine here on the tablet. And of course, the same goes for the mobile. And don't forget, if you want to learn how to create this beautiful background shifting full screen menu, you'll find all the links in the description below. Now, there is one more thing you can do if you enjoyed this video, and it's simply to give this video a thumbs up. That's going to help my channel so, so much. And if you want more web design goodness coming your way, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Don't forget, I'm trying to build the content I wish I had when I got started. So I can't wait to see what you're going to come up with with all these tutorials. You can combine all of these and create beautiful websites. So I'll see you in the next one. And until then, take care and stay safe.